South Korea successfully put its first indigenous satellite into space, becoming the world's 13th nation to send a rocket into space from its home soil. The development of the Korea Space Launch Vehicle 1, also known as NATO, began in 2002 with the help of Russian technology. Following the launch, South Korean officials promised to create its own three-stage rocket. We have now leapt up to become a space power nation. The South Korean government will harness this momentous moment to independently develop South Korea's space launch program and will concentrate more on space development to go to space with our own technology around 2020. Wednesday's launch marks Korea's third satellite launch, after two previous failures in 2009 and 2010. While South Korea boasts a successful satellite construction program, the country has yet to claim its elite status among the Asian powers of China, Japan and India, all with proven launch capability. North Korea succeeded in placing a satellite into orbit last month, becoming only the 10th member of the Global Space Club. Seoul's launch follows what the international community considers a controversial launch by Pyongyang. Some analysts point out double standards. Uh, North Korean action uh, triggers a very the, the hawkish uh, reaction from the international society and uh, triggers the sanction uh, condemnations on that. Uh, however, the South Korean case is very different from that. The analyst continued that South Korea's satellite launch may further strain inter-Korean relations, as rocket and ballistic missile technologies are interchangeable. South Korea and the U.S. government uh, already to extend the South Korean ballistic missile up to uh, 800 kilometers. So the inevitably, uh, the, the uh, satellite lo launching technology and the, the ballistic missile is, uh, uh, is the same. Uh, they are they are same. So the uh, even though the the first stage of uh, NATO, uh, first stage of uh, NATO rocket uh, is from Russian technology, uh, South Korea also can uh, transfer the the, the uh, satellite launching uh, technology into uh, ballistic missiles. So that uh, will uh, make uh, the inter-Korean relations. Uh, more difficult. Tensions recently heightened again on the Korean Peninsula as Seoul backed the United Nations expanded sanctions on Pyongyang for its satellite launch last month. North Korea said that if South Korea participated in the Titan sanctions, it would be a declaration of war. Joseph Kim, Press TV, Seoul.